performance, and I know you know, a, a win is a win. You know, um, move on to the next. Um, Seven Stones just continue to keep working. Um, a journeyman, a fight that no other thing. You know, I'm gonna do. You know, I dropped a couple times, so you know, I came out with my best man. Now, um, obviously, I saw that you and uh, you and Hassan Hood got together. For, yeah. for a photo. Yeah. Um, how did that materialize and, and how was that uh, interaction? You know, um, Hood is a champion and um, my brother Jamil, I'm Jamal. Right. I was just doing an interview for <laughs> You should have played it all because I knew yeah, it the whole yeah. time. Bro, oh, you should have played it all. That's good. Oh, why are you giving it away? I didn't yeah. say anything. That's going in my story. That's going in my story. That's going in my story. I was doing an interview for my brother. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as hell. Why you got to do that to me? I was sitting there like, nah, we that's always So that's good. I like that. I like that. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I told right, my so, story too. So, 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 so yeah, so like, my brother did good against Chop, you know. And <laughs> of course, you know, Harry was one of the fighters that fought Chop. They gotta, they gotta meet up and do what me and Jay Rock did. Uh, same results, same thing. Mm -hmm. All right, as far as uh, now, we're gonna talk about what I really wanna talk about with you. Um, you had said to me a while ago that about a year ago, in yeah. fact, that Gennady goes to sleep. Thinking about you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously they have business. They have business. They have business to take care of, and uh -huh. they're making their money. But after that, do you think it's incumbent upon them to take you on? To I mean, you got to look at what the fans are coming out with. They want to fight. They're not someone that's like he's into the fans. So uh, eventually we'll get that fight. If not, I'm gonna at the middleweight division. You, you know, it's a lot of talk here. A lot of people talking. A lot of people saying this and saying that, but. Ain't nothing changed here over, over here. So we went in and uh, continue to do what we do. A year ago, Austin told me, Trout told me that they should get you then, because then they have a shot at yeah. beating you. They yeah. said if they wait, the more the longer they wait, the better you you're gonna be. Yeah, what kind I, of I look at it like this. Look, I'm number eight, Kobe, right now. Oh, and then when they get a chance to fight me, I'm gonna be 24, Kobe. So what's the difference? Oh, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm going for the kill, and it's gonna start getting better and better and better. What message do you think you sent uh, by the way you? That's just me, man. This, this is me, man. This is me. Like you know, I told y'all, what I was gonna do? Deliver a nice statement to Centeno and what I do. I, did, I didn't really let him talk. Let him do this. But, you know, his, his trainers thought he was gonna have this type of game plan. I'm cool with that. You know, I used to take it a lot more personal, but now I know everybody want to beat me, so they're going to say this and say that, but hey, at the end of the day, guess what I do? I deliver and I handle my business. Just the interim champion, do you think that gives any more credence to one of them, the winner of Canelo? And the only thing an interim belt do is just give it a little bit of more notice to the, you know, the world, let them know I'm in the WBC ranking. That's all about the organization and things like that, but like, technically there's only one real champion and that's Golovkin right now, so... Um, don't look at no intro belt. That was like an introduction to tell y'all that I'm gonna do my thing. But look, and if he don't, yeah, and if he don't, then you know what I'm saying. The results gonna be what it is. I mean, you hear it. I mean, the world knows that the world knows that he probably retired before taking a high risk like me. But if he do, then he'll he real champion. Jamal, real quick. He already a real champion. But if he take a fight with me, it shows that he really mean it. But has he fought someone? I'm asking you, has he fought anybody? He has never fought nobody like me. Risk. You know that already. Right, right. You know that already. That's an easy question. He has never fought nobody with a risk like this. Risk. It's a real risk. Like, I mean, Canelo a risk, but that's like a different statue. He's smaller. He's not, I mean, it's a different game plan. So it's a different game plan you got to come up with. It is what it is. Jamal, oh, go ahead. Jamal, how do you want people to remember you when the day is done? Just one of the. Like, you know, most nonchalant fighters who didn't care going there with anybody, handle his business, um, outside the ring, gentlemen, fly as hell, <laughs> you know me? Like, whatever it is, you know, I just want to live life, have fun. I got kids, you know, like, I want to take care of everybody, yeah. take care of my mom, take care of everybody. Like, man, this dude did his business, he did his thing in boxing. Right. It's another life after boxing, but I want y'all to remember me as one of the best fighters that ever touched the dream, middleweight, middleweight, anything to say middle. I always wanted to ask you this question. <laughs> at the middleweight division right now is so stacked. If you had to put an order right now, what would be the easiest fight for you at middleweight, the hardest fight at middleweight for you, and the easiest big money yeah, fight at middleweight? You want me to name the easiest, hardest? I mean, if you, I mean, I know. Come on, bro. Like, think that's a broad question. Like, okay. the hardest fight would be somebody that's not living, and the easiest uh -huh. fight would be somebody that ain't living. 
You know what I mean? And, 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 and of course, you know, the best fight to be somebody that ain't living. Trust me, ain't no good fight with Jamal Charlo. I'm coming to fight every fight, bro. I don't know what y'all, what y'all aspect of me is like, you know, but I've been doing this for free all my life growing up. Now I'm a professional. So now I'm getting paid. So I'm trying to be professional about it. Okay. But technically, there's no easy fight. There ain't no good fight. No fight is a easy fight. I don't know what y'all think. Like, the left gonna be hard. Canelo gonna be hard. Okay. I'm gonna grab on to their ass and, and, and handle my <laughs> business. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna become a man there. I'm gonna have to be a man here. Whatever, you know. Yeah. You see yourself knocking both of them out. Both of them. Fuck out. See y'all. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, like that last year.